Horizontal bindings. Horizontal bindings can be taken with either a beam alignment device or bindings tabs. In this video, we will use the regular bindings tabs. These tabs are attached to the center and the flat side of the receptor. The receptor should be inserted into the patient's mouth between the tongue and the teeth. We will begin with a premolar image. To properly align the film, center the receptor on the mandibular second premolar, making sure that the front edge of the receptor is aligned with the midline of the mandibular canine to ensure the film includes both premolars and the distal aspect on the canine. Once the receptor has been positioned, set the tube head. A vertical angulation of positive 10 degrees is recommended for bi-wing images. If the tube head is directed downward, the vertical angulation is termed positive angulation. Therefore, in order to set the tube head at positive 10 degrees, it must be moved downward to number 10. In order to avoid cone cuts, which are unexposed areas of the receptor, we must stand directly behind the tube head and make sure that the receptor is completely covered by the tube head. For the purpose of exposing on dexter, examine the curvature of the zygomatic arch and line the tube head with the eyebrows slightly under the zygomatic arch. Rotate the tube head, making sure it is parallel to the curvature of the zygomatic arch and that the central beam of the tube head is visualized going straight through the contact areas of the teeth. Make sure the tube head is positioned even over maxillary and mandibular arch. Also, keep in mind that the tube head should be positioned far enough forward to cover both maxillary and mandibular canines. Stand directly behind the tube head and make sure the receptor is completely covered by the tube head. Then lastly, expose the receptor. As a result, the contact areas of the exposed image appear opened and can be used for evidence of caries. If the interproximal contact areas appear overlapped, also known as unopened, it means that the incorrect horizontal angulation has been used. For the molar exposure, the receptor is placed further posterior centered over the present molars while making sure the front edge of the receptor is aligned with the midline of the mandibular second premolar because we want to see the distal aspect of the mandibular second premolar on this image. Once the receptor has been positioned, set the vertical angulation of the tube head at positive 10 degrees by moving it downward to number 10. When taking these radiographs on a dexter, in order to avoid cone cuts, stand directly behind the tube head and make sure that the receptor is covered by the tube head. Use the sideburns which are located right under the zygomatic arch. Rotate the tube head slightly to follow the curvature of the zygomatic arch. Keep in mind you will not need to rotate the tube head as much for the molar exposure as the teeth are in a mostly straight line in the posterior. Ensure that the beam can go straight to the contact areas of the teeth by pulling back the tube head and visualizing the central beam going through the contacts of the teeth. Make sure the tube head is positioned evenly over maxillary and mandibular arch. Also, keep in mind that the tube head should be positioned as such and cover the mesial of the third molars if present as well as the distal aspect of the second premolars. Lastly, expose the receptor.